as we heard in the in the pre-roll, very recently announced, like just last week, you guys rolled out the announcement trailer. So for folks who don't know Renaissance Heroes, what's the deal? Yeah, so I mean, we just announced it. Um, we're re really happy to, to let people see this game. Mm -hmm. um, basically, we're working with a Korean developer called Bridia, and it's a free-to-play uh, multiplayer first-person shooter. Those are popular these days. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think it's one of those things you can just quickly pick up and play. So. Very cool. All right, and now, so let's uh, toss it over to Matt here, and we'll see, get a glimpse at some of the folks who will be shooting each other in this uh, first-person shooter. Now I'm, I'm seeing Aisha, Jacques. These, they, they look very different from each other. Yeah, so I mean, the game's set in 16th century Renaissance, Italy. Um, and basically all the characters and the stages and, and the weapons are all modeled after that, that era. Okay. With some slight embellishments. So. <laughs> some slight <laughs> embellishments. <laughs> Such as rifle attack damage bonuses. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're jumping into a yep. match now, uh, but Matt is going to be shooting bots, is that correct? Yeah, we basically have, obviously it's multiplayer, but we also have a bot mode for people to practice against other, other players and stuff like that. So. Okay, so get their, yeah. their feet wet, mm -hmm. I guess. Uh, now we're jumping into what is apparently a library with a giant horse inside. A is it a Trojan? <laughs> well, <you> basically, basically <laughs> too far uh, back. That's too, too far, far back. back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, this game is basically modeled in, in the 16th century Renaissance, and so the, the basic premise of the game is that like Da Vinci, the, the artist, obviously, he created this gi gigantic machine which exploded, um, separating the blueprints. So now all these guys are basically fighting to try to find out the blueprints to this machine. Because they want to put the machine together yeah. because if Da Vinci created it, it's got to be cool. Exactly. And so this stage is basically modeled kind of after what we would imagine his, his workshop to be like. Lots of books, big random horse, and uh, <laughs> a lot of people running around like crazy trying to murder each other. Absolutely. That sounds like science. Uh, so, I mean, we're seeing sort of a basic assault rifle type <coughs> thing, it looks like here, although the design is certainly not basic. Mm -hmm. uh, but he's busting out this hammer. Mm -hmm. Give us a talk. Talk to us a little about a bit about, the, bit about these weapons, Matt. Okay. Yeah. So these weapons are kind of based off um, what we're assuming are the lost designs of Leonardo da Vinci. Okay. So we are kind of we're assuming that he created these, and then someone else found them and actually, you know, manufactured a, a crossbow. Is that is that what I see there? Um, but the weapons work similar to the modern counterparts. So we have the rifle. Um, crossbow. Operates a little bit more like a sniper. Okay, like a laser crossbow. Yeah. Nice. So basically, anybody playing this game is really gonna. It operates more like regular FPS games. Sure. I mean, with it, with definitely its own visual flair. Oh, okay. uh, Absolutely. Now we're not. See, I'm seeing him sort of switch between three different weapons. Is your loadout something you customize before coming into the match, or do you pick up weapons in the map? Like, how does that work? So you can uh, customize the weapons before you. Before you go into the match, you can equip them. Okay. We also have this here. This is called a special weapon pickup. So this lets you like activate a weapon that you've already equipped. Um, in my case, I have a cannon. All right. So apparently, we're having a little bit of audio trouble, and folks can't quite hear you, Matt. So what he's said, folks, mm -hmm. is now he is shooting a cannon that's been in it. Like he, he Wayne, see if you can yeah, uh, so recap this he, for us. He basically picked up a special weapon, and his special weapon was a cannon, which operates more like a missile launcher. Yeah, certainly yeah. explosive. Yeah, absolutely. So how does the free-to-play model work? Like, uh, I guess it was Blacklight Retribution. You couldn't even spend a cent until you were level 10, mm -hmm, I think. Mm -hmm. Like, how, what, are you, what are you doing with this one? Well, basically, in this game, um, it's free-to-play completely for everyone. Um, and everything you can earn by just regular play. OK. Um, but if you're one of those impatient guys um, and you want to jump ahead a little bit, you can actually um, purchase kind of uh, weapons ahead of time. Um, but again, everything is... is is free, to, is free to play, okay. so basically you can earn it by just regular. So how much time goes into like Ugh. tweaking the balance and pacing? I guess like mm -hmm. tribes, it was like really slow if you want, if you don't want to spend money. Like how does this work if you're, if you're kind of cheap? Well, I think if you just keep playing it, I mean, as you can see on screen, as you're killing enemies, you're earning a lot of experience points okay. uh, again and again. So I mean, I think if you just spend a little more time with it, you can definitely, you can reach a lot of those levels where it allows people to get in there. So. Okay. So Matt, I think we've got you on audio now again. Uh, <laughs> okay, great. Are you playing a team deathmatch here? Yes, this is team deathmatch uh, uh, with are, bots. Do you guys so. have any uh, other game modes here, or is it pretty much just get in there and kill the other team? Okay, so for our CBT, we have team deathmatch and deathmatch, and we have another mode um, called CBT. Is that closed beta test? Closed, closed beta. Yes. Sorry. Cool. No problem. Um, so for our closed beta test, we'll have uh, team deathmatch, deathmatch, both with bots also. 
Um, and also we have uh, variations on those modes like um, rifle only, crossbow only, hyperspeed, if you want it even faster than this. Yeah, well you guys are already moving <laughs> pretty fast. Like, yeah. Getting like a lot of sort of Unreal Tournament uh, inspiration here. Is that, that's definitely the feel you guys are going for. Absolutely, I mean we're, we're looking for really high action. Um, as you can see there's like jump pads and people are running around you know, all over the place. With, you know, there's also tons of power-ups in here as well. Mm -hmm. So we're really looking to capture that, that really kind of classic FPS feel. This guy looks like he's got a weird little helicopter thing on the background. <laughs> you guys definitely had some fun with these character designs, <laughs> it seems. Yeah, Jock um, is kind of resurrected. He was uh, a knight um, in the 12th century, and then kind of resurrected about 400 years later. Um, in oh, like, that Da Vinci. Yeah. <laughs> he can do anything. Go, let's go in there and hammer someone. Let's see some hammer, hammer smashing. Yes. So okay. does, does Da Vinci make an appearance at any point? Yeah. Well, in the storyline, he's actually <laughs> dead at this point, unfortunately. Uh, <laughs> you get to fight as like a robot yeah, Da Vinci no. <laughs> as one of the characters? That's the final boss. <laughs> robot Da Vinci? <laughs> no. <laughs> that's, that's Just saying, you got a little DLC added <clears throat> in there. Robot Da Vinci, final boss fight. <laughs> Cynthia, what are folks saying about Renaissance heroes? Well, from the sounds of things, apparently it's like Bioshock Infinite and Unreal Tournament had a baby. <laughs> oh, that's an interesting comparison. Yeah, you sort of do have that that like very uh, elaborate design, mm -hmm. sort of, definitely not form over, wait, form over function? Function and form, what both, you, what both you, Where are you trying to go with that? I don't yeah. know. <laughs> I really just go while your head. The Unreal Tournament thing, just that was the first thing that jumped out with me. Like mm -hmm. this looks very, or uh, Quake 3 Arena maybe? Something around that route. Yeah, I mean, we're try definitely trying to capture that feel. I mean, as you can see, the stage is really vertical. So yeah. a lot of different levels. Um, and a lot of the stages are really built for the actual modes as well. So if you're oh, in a deathmatch okay. mode or a dual mode, it's really built for that kind of action. And these pickups too, I mean, they're, they're always there. Is it, are this sort of like a little health boost? As we saw a shield, mm -hmm. so presumably that you have some kind of armor as mm -hmm. well. Like that's a, that's a, you know, you sort of get into this mode of just like picking your routes of, of rounds to get, get through hotspots out to get, you know, the, the armor pickups and knowing exactly mm -hmm. where that stuff is gonna spawn and when it's gonna spawn. Absolutely, so you have the armor pickups, you have ammo pickups and health pickups. So you definitely wanna remember where those are obviously for, for the maps and stuff. So um, the chat is sort of wondering, is there any hopes of seeing this on a console? Any, maybe? <laughs> Right now, the plan is only to do um, PC only. It's a uh, free to play, so I mean, the console. Wah, wah. It's, it's unfortunately new. It's technically possible. It's technically it's possible, technical, yeah. Yeah, yeah this, this could run on a console, right? <laughs> but yeah, that whole free to play, uh, that model is not, not really something that's come to consoles yet. Mm -hmm. So, you, I mean, do you think it'll come out this generation, or do you think E3 maybe we'll see something about that, Tom? It's going to happen soon, doesn't right? it? I mean, well, it's, it's so popular and bur burgeoning and being so successful on the PC. Yeah. you got to imagine. I think one of the problems might be, like, because Microsoft's going to want to cut, and the developers need the money, and it's like, how do you even do this? And it's just, it's going to get messy. So, yeah. <laughs> free to play is PC only for now. Yeah. For now, and yeah. So that well, that brings me to another question. In terms of a PC, how you know this is running pretty smoothly. It looks it looks sharp. What kind of uh, resources you know are you going to need on your PC to run this guy? Um, so I know it looks like you, you need like a really high end PC mm -hmm. to run this this game, but we're doing a lot of optimizations for low end PCs also. Mm -hmm. um, so everybody should be able to run this game. It's just you know how pretty it's going to look. <laughs> okay. Uh, so you'll sacrifice some of the uh, the prettiness if on a low end system, but um, I think it'll. But run you'll still it. be able to find your enemies and shoot them. Right. And isn't that what really matters? <laughs> I mean, at the end of the day, it's free to play, so we want everyone to play this game. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Uh, now, can we get a quick look at some of the other character designs again? I think we might. Yeah. Let's just spend some time. Barossa. <laughs> Yikes. Yeah. Yeah. Barossa is an uh, ex slave turned pirate. He's searching for his brothers. So all of these characters want to collect pieces of the machine so they can fulfill their dreams. He wants to find his brothers. Uh, Aisha, um, she was part of a harem, now she's an assassin. And Jock is resurrected. Um, he kind of has a master that we haven't seen yet, so um, that's something that's coming later. So and we're only seeing him. four character slots here. You guys have mm -hmm. four more in the pipes, pipeline somewhere. Right, with more coming. Later. So our closed beta is basically going to have four characters available. Okay. Uh, but later on when we release this game widely, there's going to be more, more characters on there. Now, in terms of your closed beta, how do people like get behind that closed door into sure. your beta? Sure. We, do well, have, we do have people asking, I can has beta key. Yeah, so basically all you have to do is go to renaissanceheroes.com and okay. you can sign up. And as soon as we're ready to release the beta, we'll be you know, 
selecting the people and, and sending out those beta keys. Giving them their message. And yeah. do you guys have an, an, a time window? Are they going to be waiting, you know, all summer long? Like, where, where, where are you aiming for? Well, I think we're looking at sometime this summer. Um, the earlier the better, but probably in the summertime, so. All right, Wayne. Uh, well, there's your first look at Renaissance Heroes, folks. Wayne, Matt, thank you guys so much for coming in and showing it off. Uh, anything else you want to mention about the game before we, before we head out? Um, no, I, I think we've pretty much yeah. covered it, yeah.